to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to day two of all of our fun samples with my new May release stamp set um, stamp release I, release I should say today we are all showcasing a super fun set I designed here this one's called here's looking at you basically this set consists of 37 stamps along with one, two, three, four different coordinating dies, okay? And as you can see, they all, it is kind of a men-related stamp set, but I'm going to show you how you could easily make it into women. I actually designed this set so you can make clean, simple cards because sometimes, sometimes that's all you have time for, you know what I'm saying? Trust me, I love the layers, I love adding different embellishments and all of that fun stuff, but sometimes your times are limited and you don't have time for something super fancy. So anyways, this is what it comes with. It's a bigger set and it does come with um, the four. Now I have them all on one, so let me show you really quick here, okay? The reason why I have them all on one is because we won't lose them. So there goes the tie, the graduation hat, and here goes the little hat, and here goes the little strip that you could cut out separately to attach to the hat right there as a little decor, decor <laughs> a little decoration for your hat. Okay, I'm just gonna show you a, a, a couple of quick, simple cards I made using this set. You see how nice this is? This is Nephew, It's Your Day. And then congrats, right on the inside. Nice, clean, um, basically no layering all I did is just stamp directly onto my craft color cardstock use my ruler outline the edges and added some hemp this is from skinny it's a little thin hemp from Liz's paper loft boutique um, I will have a link to that on my blog she is having her grand opening this week so you definitely want to go visit her to show her some love super sweet stuff in her new shop okay there goes that one, and then I also, now this is the one where, oops, sorry, this is the one I told you where it doesn't all have to be for men, okay? I cut out this for my niece, she'll be graduating from 8th grade, and I went ahead and I just put a cute, I used that same skinny hemp, put a cute little bow right on the actual hat directly, instead of doing it the other way. And then on the inside of the card it says, hats off to you grad. How cute is that? Super simple and clean, I love that. And I'm going to show you another one I did with using the same set. Okay, this is another sweet card I had showcased. I actually put the, had this on my blog last week. Um, this one, these are all, everything you see are from this. And I wanted to include some cute little dies just so you could add a little extra touch to your cards. Like I said, to make them look clean, classy. I love that look, okay? And this one just says, Grandpa, you are my superstar. So, as you could see with all of these different sentiments, and you have some different sayings, you are my superstar, here's looking at you, hats off to you, it's your day, that could go for birthday, it could go for anything, you know what I'm saying? So it's not mainly a Father's Day present. And then you could do like, here's looking at you, kid, and put, oh, I actually have one more to show you really fast. Okay, here is another one I made with my brand new tags that I have out as well. Super simple. Happy Father's Day. And just went ahead and just stamped that right on there. Okay, so that's basically what it is. Now, I'm going to make a super quick project here for you today using the little, oops, the little hat die along with my rolled flower dies, okay? And I'm using this particular flower. What I did was I ran everything through my cuddle bug. Okay, and this is what the little flower, I'm sorry, not the flower, the little hat land up looking like, okay? And I'm just going to quickly show you something, just a little tip that I kind of just taught myself real fast. When I first cut out the flower, because if you see nowadays, lots of women, I actually even have a hat like this, lots of women are wearing hats like this, okay? So I'm going to show you really quick. This was the size when I cut this using this flower here. This is the size I got, okay? You see how the difference, how it's a little bit bigger? Not by much, but when I put it on the hat, it was kind of overpowering the hat. So what I did was, um, if you see how it swirls around, I just cut 
this is a swirl right, swirl right here. And I just cut a little bit off right there at the end. I just kind of cut like one, two, three, four, probably like four petals off. So this way, when I went ahead and I rolled it up, it was a little bit smaller where it wasn't so out overpowering on my hat, okay? So that's basically what I did because, like I said, lots of women are wearing these hats and they are actually very sleek and classy. I really like them. Okay, and what the stamp we are using from that set is You Are Simply the Best, okay? So what I'm going to do, I just went ahead and just cut, this is four and a quarter by four and a quarter um, Raspberry Fizz card stock. This is probably the only pink I love. And this is from um, Paper Tray Ink Raspberry Fizz, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of like probably put that there. So I'm just trying to map it out exactly where I want. Obviously, I'm not going to put down the hat yet because I want to stamp my sentiment on there first, okay? So I think it's going to go some whips, somewhere along the lines right below that hat. So I'm just going to scooch this over. I put it right here. You are simply the best. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and then now what I'm going to do, now this is just going to go right there. You are simply the best. Did I make it cricket? Let's see. Oh, you know what? It's okay. It's quite all right. And that's going to go there because I'm going to put some ribbon on this side, which I just decided to do because it's a little far over, but that's okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw some pop dots behind here, behind my hat to pop it up a little. Okay. I love, I am having so much fun, and I hope you're enjoying all of my design team's um, samples that they have made with this release so far. And this is only the second day. You haven't seen nothing yet, my friends. Okay, so you are so, let's put this just like so, like that. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Oh my god, I love this. Okay, I'm kind of just winging this along the way. Because, um... I didn't realize I did it too far over. So now what I'm going to do, I am going to find some ribbon here. So I don't want to take up too much of your time. This is just as, oh my God, I found it. I hope black is in here. Yes. Okay, good. I actually lost my ribbon that um, I had gotten from Miss Liz from her new shop because my desk is redonkulously messy. Okay. So this is it, the little black. This is the little... Um, seam binding ribbon okay I'm just gonna cut that off because I really don't need the paper on there uh, this is a seam binding ribbon where you can wrinkle it yourself okay so what you want to do to wrinkle it yourself what I have is this little tiny water bottle well this is a little blue mister in here but I have one that's clear that has plain water and you just spr spritz it just so just a little bit and then it will get wrinkled. On. It'll kind of have a wrinkled look to it. And you just like, you know, sprinkle it up like that. You could let it air dry by itself or you could um, use your heat gun. So that's, I think that's what I'm going to land up putting right there on the side. I may change my mind. I don't know. So you'll know at the end of the video. I promise you'll see it at the end. Um, so anyways, everybody, sorry for this late video today. Um... It's been busy, that's it. <laughs> so let me go ahead and just fold that for you like that. And like I said, it's just missing the ribbon on the side. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed my little sample for you today. And head on, if you haven't uh, saw my blog yet, it is a must see because my designers totally, totally knocked my socks off with all of their samples. So you might want to head on over there right now at www.creativetimeforme.com and check out their awesome, awesome samples of this particular stamp set called Here's Looking at You. And um, also for a chance to win some sweet prizes at the end of this week. So you might want to leave your comments where you want to. You don't have, It's not mandatory to do them all, but it's, it's a good idea if you do. Trust me, I have some nice stuff for everyone. Um, so anyways, have a fabulous day, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.